The things I like are the following, though. Club faces squared up behind the golf ball itself. Club and ball are in the middle of your feet. For an iron, that's ideal. Your feet are about the width of your own shoulders. And your feet, hips, and shoulders, for the most part, are lined up complementary to the leading edge of the club face. A couple things, though. Not much room between your shoulders and your chin. Okay? There's no space there. So when you don't have any space, as you can see with Stricker, it limits the amount of room you have to turn, right? But you want to start, which will help relax your shoulders and arms by having the club shaft angle to be flattened when you put the club down first, then grip it. And it should be opposite almost more into the belt line, okay? And as you can see, you're up at your mid-upper mid body, right? So tremendous tension. Right? So if we can lower the club position first or shaft angle, then set our body after the fact, there's one great way to reinsure that you are balanced. If you're on the balls of your feet, it should be no problem to raise up your head and still see the ball, right? If you're on your heels or if you're crowded, we can't do that because you can't see anything. So no wonder you're going to tuck your head in, right? That restricts the space you have to turn, right? So balance and relax the shaft angle will give you more room and better stability. We're going to watch your swing now. Notice how your first move is your arm is pulling the club up and away from the ball, right? As opposed to taking it back almost on an inside path with your shoulders. Yeah. So you lift the club there. Then you continue to pick the club up with your arms and hands. And you can see there's not much room there, right? So that was all more of an arm placement rather than a turn of your shoulders. But from there, you bring the club back down. And you do a good job of recovering. But you can see how the club is being casted outside the ball line, almost outside my screen and then pulled back the ball and then squared up in a very good recovery ability there to get through. But it can fluctuate. Didn't so, exactly hit the target, though. It was close, though. But if we can set up the way I mentioned, you're going to have your misses more playable and you hit balls more solid with less effort required. Or